Okay, so what's happening is BIOS is, uh, I mean, I'm not going to explain what BIOS is. You should have some IT background to know what BIOS is. It stands for Basic Input Output System. It's not on the hard drive. It's, it's built on, built in on the motherboard. So it's a little chip that has a code in it. The moment you push the power button, it starts from here and it checks the hardware. Oh, okay. Okay. Once, so you, you know, you must be in IT, so nobody's going to ask you what BIOS is. You mm -hmm. should know that. Then BIOS is something that once its job is done, it passes uh, the controller to MBR. So it passes the first stage of bootloader. So bootloader is uh, okay. So th this is a bootloader, and uh, this is a master boot record. So it's actually a relay. BIOS is passing it to the first stage of bootloader. It sits in MBR. This is where it sits in. And then when the MBR job is done, you know, the uh, MBR job is done, then it passes uh, control to the second stage of bootloader, which resides in boot partition. Okay, boot partition is uh let's see here where is a boot partition now okay let's see if we are able to get a visual for that okay Oh, we already have that, I think, here. Okay, yeah, this is it. Okay, this is bootloader, and this is MBR, first stage, and this is the second stage. Okay? Uh -huh. All right, so... Uh, where are we now? So all this is happening in a fraction of a second. And then the second stage of bootloader initializes the kernel. The, the kernel like the seed. Yeah, the seed, exactly. That's a source code. So it kicks. So now the kernel has it. Once the kernels get the, uh, is alerted, hey, your job is uh, starting now. The kernel job is to detect the devices, initialize the drivers, and mount the root file system into read-only mode. Okay, this is the file system here. All these are like root file systems. At initially, it mounts it in the read-only mode. Okay? Uh -huh. Then it continues on to the init process. Init process is nothing but this file. We could we could visually see that file, okay? Okay, so it's telling us. And this is gonna be built in inside the. Yeah, this is this is this is all the heart heart and soul. All this. Yeah. So init process reads the init tab file. So it comes here. And it reads the file and then say, oh, we I need to put this in run level three. Do you see this here? We play yeah, 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 yeah. We've changed it to six, we change it to five and whatever. Okay. 
and then uh, and then all the other scripts happens. But just so here, like, could, that, could, uh, could you just like uh, uh, show show us again uh, how yeah, to change will, it? I will. Yeah. I will. And then and then all this in the meantime, if it reads this file and then there is some script in it, it executes it. I showed you it has it's a big script. So like it's it's like move from one file to another file. Yeah. Okay. So this is like a, a heavy programming uh, stuff in here. So this is this file. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once this file is done, we are doing its job. Then it passes on. And, is it the same initialization? Okay, it's the same thing. Okay. Once the, what this file is actually doing is its job is to configure the UDAV devices, host name, IP address, like host name. Host name, okay, this is the host name. So it reads from uh, from the memory or wherever it's saved in, it, it loads this. And it's, if you see IP config, you see the uh, IP address, it brings that up. Okay, it does it does a lot of other things, but these are the major things. And then remember earlier it it may it put it into read only mode. So kernel kernel loads it into read only mode, and then after some, all this process have gone through, it makes it into read write mode. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then other processes starts. They are like if you do ps and ef, there are these many processes that it uh, essential processes that starts. Like if you have if you have a, if you have a home, right? Uh, generally speaking, oh, you have a home, but you have all the other things running in your home. You have like a electricity, you have like a sewer, you have like a garbage uh, disposable, you have a vacuum system. Yeah, like it show you the part of your. Uh... Yeah, these are all the services. Okay. You have a vacuum that is car cleaning the carpet. It's car uh, cleaning the house. You have an air duct system, right? Does Does it make sense now? Yeah. yeah. And then from time to time you have to keep uh, keep it up. You know that's what when we go into a little deeper, like you need to replace the roof. For example, you need to update, do some updates. You know the old code is gone, so you have to keep updating it. The old security system is no good, right? You get rid of a dog and then you put a camera there. So that's how these things are working. I mean, in common terms, uh, that's the best way I could explain you for now. Yeah, this now it's really very clear. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the best thing is uh, go through this and then I, I put the question in the chat and everybody will get to know it there may be some people who may not be uh, you know are shy or something but they they will know oh okay yeah i had this question too so let me just do the uh, rest in it right let's restart yes. all this process is happening right now this all this process is happening right now it's going very fast Okay, when this is comes up, it's kind of giving you, it's kind of giving you a chance, three second chance that a default run level, if you want, you could, you have a chance to change it. Did you get it? Uh-huh. When you change it, you're changing it only temporarily. Until the server restarts, it goes back into whatever the original configuration is. So right now, the original configuration is this. Original configuration is number three. Would you agree? By default. 
by default whatever the company decides uh, we need to have this running in uh, three i would be surprised if it's something other than three um see right here usually as a root as a root access you have access to this not not everybody would have access to it there this for example if somebody put in six yeah, the you system said that is going to keep uh, going in the loop booting yeah it's keep like rebooting so i'm going to root So I type run level. It gives me run level. I can also yeah. type two hyphen R. It gives me the run level. Yeah, more than and I throw the date too. Okay, let me show it one more time. I'm going to interrupt and then one time for one time only I'm going to try to change the run level. Mm -hmm. Chris, you know this, right? We, when we used to troubleshoot uh, back in 2000. No. And yeah. then to do this process, you do edit. You mentioned enter, yes, to go to this. Uh... No, you do E. E? Okay. To interrupt, push any key. Okay right here it gives you it gives you the it gives you uh right here it says b to boot e to edit and then c for command line so don't use c for now because that's for advanced we'll work on it a little later and Just this is the kernel. yeah this is the kernel and you do e then space and then we're already in three right so let me give it five what is number five? Uh, like X, Windows XC? XI? X Windows, yeah, right. Yeah, X Windows. Right here. Number five is X Windows. It's somewhere. So I'll hit enter here. And then at this screen, I just push B to boot, okay? Because it saved the let me go back in there to see it saved uh, number five. It doesn't give you any good uh, instructions here what you should be doing, you know, that's how this is. That's yeah, how just, this uh, Linux is. You need, to, you need to have like a previous understanding. Unlike in Windows, sometimes you could go into help and try to get some help. The best, the best way you could do is, you know what you're doing, but you don't know how to do it, is Google it. How to change run level in Linux. And now when you mention, when you mention five and uh, when you put it, it's gonna be like a permanent, it will change permanently or only just- No, th this is temporarily. That's what I'm saying, it's only one time boot. So if you want to open it next time, it's gonna to go to the back to the default mode. Yeah, exactly. There is a way to change it permanently. Yeah, of course. From from the CD, this is what you said. Last. No, you yeah, you go to uh, VI. You that's why you're gonna be using VI and to change it. So I change it to five, right? Yeah. See, it came into Windows mode, uh, X Windows. And you type who hyphen R, and it's tell you the run level is five. But if you go into init file, this is where the run level is set. 
it is it said here is three when the system is going to reboot it's going to come and read this and it will go back to three unless you change it here how do you change it here you have to do vi slash etc slash init tab and you come down here and then you delete this and then you type number five here that that's why these two documents are very important you should all these commands should be on your fingertips and uh, the vi editors you all this should be on your fingertips there's a lot of editing you can do in the blog. Okay, I'm not gonna save it. So I'm gonna save without quick without saving. Okay, and then let me see. If it's still there. All right, so I'm gonna restart. It's set to. It's uh, still set to three. So what is it gonna start in? Run level. Six. Six. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What? Restart in at six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But after restart, what uh, what run level is going to go back? To three. Good, really good. Because we didn't change anything. Yeah, it's exactly. already set to three. Because you exit by Q. If you exit by X, you're going to change it to five. Yeah, you, you will save the changes. Yeah. It gave you a chance if you want to change the run level. clear Chris yeah okay all right so I wanted to go over the permissions. Give me one second here. Um, By the way, um, remember we weren't we weren't able to create a, a file and the directory with the same name in the same place. Okay, so let's create a file name uh, Chris Okay 
Okay, and then M K D I R Chris. So we are not able to create a directory in the same place. So I checked this, and uh, actually, it's um, Linux does not allow both names, uh, both directory and file with the same name in the same place. Okay. Uh, you have to you have to put it in different route. Yeah, because uh, later on uh, when you learn about a little bit of security, that's kind of like a security feature it has to circumvent around when hackers try to hack in. They could use because the way the way the for us it says a touch Chris right, but for computers it's zeros and ones. Right. For computers, it's like uh, it's nothing but like this zero zero one one zero zero. So it would be creating a same same name in the same uh, directory there. So it won't allow that. Could you create one if you created it as a hidden file? Would that be possible? Well, let's try it. Apparently it did. Do you see this? Yes. So it created a hidden directory here. So let's see what's in the hidden directory. So the hidden directory has other directories in there. So the reason it created hidden directory is technically it's a different name because it starts with a period. Right. It has a period in front of it. That's why. Yep. Yeah. That makes sense. So let's take it as directory, not as a file. We could try that too. Oh. And we have to we have to do it here. And then we have to do it. See, it did create the file name. Uh, is this file? This directory. Do you see hidden file name, Chris? There is normal yeah. file name, Chris. Yeah, but we did create a file name dot Chris. That doesn't take it. Take it as a directory. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so whatever, you get the idea here. Um, uh, give me one moment here, I'm going to check uh, what should I be uh, covering today. Did I cover the absolute path and the related path? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, what I'm going to cover now is uh, the permissions. Okay, um, we have a file name Chris, right? And when I do ls hyphen l, it gives you more information. This is the file name, and uh, this is the owner root, whoever created it. Whoever creates the file is the owner of the file. Does it make sense? I hear somebody in the background. Please mute yourself if you are not talking. Okay. Okay, so Let's talk about permissions here. So we we have this um, when we when you whenever a file is created by default it gets the permissions. Okay. So the, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna copy this here. And then we're going to dissect this, dissect this, and then uh, we'll study what this means, okay? Okay, so the file name, Chris, Chris has uh, these permissions here, okay? Okay, so what all this boils down to is, okay, uh, let me put this here. Okay, we have, we have, uh, we have something in the uh, permissions called read. R stands for R stands for read. Okay, then W stands for write. 
then there is something called execute x x stands for execute okay so let me explain what read means is and then there are groups too okay hold on okay so what what this group is owners this part first we'll, there is one more dash in here so we'll come back to that a little later here it's, it's, it's going to be really hard for me to explain now but let's concentrate from here to here so they are like this is one block this is another block and this is another block do you see that each block has these read write execute so the owners owners group will have read read write execute okay and the group block also have a read write execute same thing here okay fair enough in total we have nine spots here starts from here one two one one oh my god one two three four five six seven eight nine so a simple file named chris it has nine permissions in it okay so let's uh, take a look at first one here what is r stands for anybody read Good, read. R stands for read. But what is first three first three uh, uh, blocks in here? What are they? Who do they belong to? To the owner. Yeah, exactly. 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 You guys are with me. So in this scenario, the owner has a read, write, and execute okay the third spot has dash in it that means it doesn't have a execute permission execute. right okay so the owner by default no matter whoever it is even if you go in login as like a not a, a root if you log in as a regular user you would have this permission here because you are an owner okay and then the owner at the same time giving permissions to group so whoever by default if you are a if you are a, a user you you belong to a group you you belong to hr group you belong to um, you know it group you belong to finance group all right you guys have you guys have heard about these groups within the big organization right yes i would yes. assume everybody it's fair enough right i mean a big corporation have all these different groups okay so in here this block has only read only read a um, permission and other two are dash so it doesn't have like write and execute permission okay and then what is the third block others execute or uh, others yeah right. yeah others 
And then what does others have? What kind of permission others has? Only read. Only read, exactly, exactly. Okay. Now, to build on that, the, a number goes with each number, okay? So, let's see here, what is the number? Okay. So, the read, read permission by default has a number associated with it. It's number four. Okay. Write by default has a number associated with it. Number two. But this no is the binary, the binary code, like? Binary, no, numeric code, yeah, not okay. binary. When you say binary, it's something else. Numeric code. Uh, not numeric code. Um, Decimal. You know what decimal system is? Decimal system starts from zero and ends at nine. Right? Uh -huh. Numeric, uh, binary starts ones and zeros. It has nothing but ones and zeros. And then execute has number one into it. So if you add four, two, one, okay. So let's take a look here. If you want to give a permission, right? You want to you want to change the permission, okay? To change the permission, uh, there is a there is a code uh, you have to remember. It's called CHMOD. It stands for change mode. Short is CH mode. Okay. So right now, what is the number here? What is the total numbers in here? Looking at this. Four to one. Total. Yeah. Four four to one but Seven. right now what numbers are active all four and two yeah exactly because the execute is blank right so if execute is yeah. blank right now consider this as zero right but you said it will be active when you are the owner yeah by default it's this read write okay you cannot execute it because we i created this as a root right this is the owner right here root but i still cannot execute it because we'll learn later later in the course that you could create something but you cannot execute it right away meaning a file you have a chris name file it could be an executable file what that mean is it could have some code in it if it runs on its own without being uh, without being absolutely sure then it could do some damage does it make sense here should i repeat pasha yeah it's clear Continue. yeah right so far yeah yeah clear Okay, so right now, let's look at the owner's permission. What is the number? If you add those two numbers, um, replace uh, R, W with the number, and then give me a total. How? What is it? Four, two, the total six. Exactly. Good. Good. What about here? Here. Two, one. Uh, sorry, uh, four, four. 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 Exactly, four. And four. Yeah. So by default, if somebody is creating a, a file, it will be six, two, two. That's going to be a default uh, permissions for a file. Okay, does it make sense? Yes. 
Okay. So I want to give same exact same exact permission to uh, this this set here. What is this set? The middle set. Group. Group. Okay. I want to group. I want to give the group the same permission as this one here. So what should be the number here? What Six. should be targeting the number? Two. Okay, one by one. Oh, sorry. Uh, four, four. 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 No, I, I want to give, I want to copy, I want to give uh, this permission, uh, the owner's permission, whatever the uh, permission owners have, I yeah, want to six. give the same exact six. permission to group. Yeah, it, it would be six. Okay, so right now their permission is uh, two, right? So I want to make it six. Right. And then the command. Okay. Here's the command. Here's the permission you want to give it to. And who do you want to give that permission to? To the group. No, yeah, yeah, I, I got it. You're giving the permission. Uh, this is six uh, to owner. This is six to group. And then to who, what, what do you want to give permission to which? You want to give the permission to the file. To the file. Yeah, right. So you have to specify the file name. Okay. All right. So if I do this, what do you what are you going to expect? Um, what are you going to expect the permission to change to? Read writes to file Chris. Okay. Let's examine this. What is this going to be? It's that gonna be like is... RW, RW, then R. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you. What What about you, be. Chris? Yeah, that's what it should be. RW, RW, and and then the last one would be R. Yeah. Oh, the last one is W. Exactly. Yeah. Why did he change to W? Yeah. Why did he change to W? Because remember, I on purpose I didn't ask you what this two is. What is two stands for? Right. Okay. See, it got you. I got you there. So if I if I don't want to change the last one. What do I do? I want to I want to put this back. I my intention was not to change this, but I ended up changing this. So now tell Remove. me what this should be, number should be. Remove two. No, it has to be a three digit number. Ah, okay. Zero. <clears throat> Who's next? Four, maybe. Yeah, you're right. Don't don't be hesitant. Let's yeah, try six, four. Six six four. Okay, so who? Anybody agreeing with him or no? Who's agreeing with him? Yes. Yeah, I I agree with him. It should be four. Yeah, that's that's right. Okay. Here you go. Yeah, now I understand why it came out as W because W is is a two. Exactly. So, and we told it to to give it the permission two, and so that's why it shows as W. Yep, that makes sense. I'm going to run a very very dangerous command here, but you have to tell me what is this going to do. Seven. Uh, uh, so you give everyone like uh, permission oh, read, to read right, and write right, and execute. execute. Yeah. yeah. Owner, owner group and other. Okay. So remember six six six. You don't do yeah. that. Six 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 is something very bad, right? Like a Satan or something. <laughs> Re 
remember 777 permission if somebody come up to you and tell you to do uh, give him a permission 777 uh, you call your boss and, and tell him uh, somebody's trying to tell you to do 777 and nobody should be coming up to you and tell you to do this for you without having something in the email or in the ticket or anything like that okay mm -hmm. never do that all right so when i do this what are you gonna hear what are the letters you're gonna see here okay uh so six. You're gonna see... no i'm six. talking about the letters oh yeah the letters uh so that will be r w you mean for seven Yes, for uh, seven. So it should be R W, uh, R W X, R W X, R W X. Yeah, you got it right. So who's gonna agree with him? Yes, me. Okay. Final answer. There you go. If you see. When you go like, when you see a file like this, question, who did this? This is a big deal here. You should never see a file like read, read, write, read, write, read, write. That means everybody, a owner, a group, and even somebody who just have like a user access, who just have like a, in their system to like collect some log files or to collect some application information. Those and people also, have all the full rights to it. And if somebody find out, you know, somebody has it, then they could do, it could be a serious issue. Okay, so let's see here. Did it make sense? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now there is a there is a letters associated with each groups here. Okay, you have U for owners and G for group and then O for others. Okay. All these are lowercase. Okay. All right. So what we could do now is if we could, uh, we have like, you know, I mean, uh, sometimes uh, using numbers could be confusing, you know. Eh. How are we gonna do this and that? But you're not sure what to do this, okay? <clears throat> so right now, I want to remove uh, remove the execute access execute access from other. So what I'm gonna do is ch mode. What is uh, the letter for others? You. Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, okay. O for others. 
O. And then what do I want to remove? The execute, execute access. Execute, right? Yeah. So what you have to do is you have to give a minus sign and then you give letter X. And then Okay, so you see, do you see it, it removed it? Mm, okay. So you have to put the file name because you are uh, only in one file now. You are talking about one file. Yeah. We are, we are playing around with one file here. Once you get the concept, you could do one command, you could do thousands of files. All right, so I want to remove Okay, I want to remove a uh, right access to this. Just the right access to this group. What group is this? What block is this? I'm sorry. G G group the G. Okay. So I want to remove the right access. So CH mode. CH mode. Okay. Dash G. Okay. Uh, G dash uh, uh, W. Hyphen okay. W. Yeah, then uh, yeah. press. Yeah, you, go, you guys got it. Okay. Okay, I want to give the execute command back to Chris, uh, others. So what do you think I should do? I want to Peter. give this group execute command back. So what should be the command? Six, six. You wrote it as a number. No, no, I'm using, I'm not using numbers. I'm using a letter. I want to give the execute command uh, back. What group is this? What's this block? I'm sorry. Group. Other. No, this block. Others. So for others, what do we have there? Oh, right. Oh, yes. And then uh, I want to give it a give it an access. To give the access, simply use plus, plus sign. Yeah, you got it right. And then X. Then okay. But this is the second then one. Yeah. Uh, but this is the second one. Uh, it has to be like a group, yes. Because owner no, group this other. Is third one. Where is the first one? Yeah, the first no, no, one think. is. First one go up? is this. Okay. Owner, you. And then group, then others. Did you get it? Bashar, does it make sense now? So, like, because um, well, how I, why I confused here when you wrote, like, if you go back to the R W X R. R W X. You put like I'm talking about the left side. Here you put R W X R then dash X R W. This one, or this one? No, go up. Yeah, but but these three, which one? Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly here. This one, the bless where you were. Yeah, so what block is this? This is re, uh, owner. Exactly. And this one? 
group the second one will be a group the third the one will third be one? the will others. be the others yeah okay so you just have to be a little uh, cognizant about this how you gonna run this command Any questions? So, so it has to be like under a group others with each command you bought? Uh, that's how it is. Owners group others. That's it. Okay. U G O. Owners is U. Uh, groups is. So the G. last one, the last one you will give like the owner uh, read and write and execute it. And for the group only read and other uh, they get. I'm sorry. Just can you look at the last one? The uh, from RX R like RW XR then XR uh, WX. This has uh, like owner and group and other it's yes. Yeah, owner groups and others are always associated with any files. Okay, yeah. And then the RWX is for the owner. Okay, so when you have RWX, it has a full permissions. Then the group he has only read. Yeah. Uh no, you have to take a closer look. He has a read and execute. Execute. He doesn't have a write permissions. And then this. Uh, okay. So this is this is good when you're changing like a single single permission. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I want to I want to remove all three. I don't want to give any permission. So I have to use a number in that scenario. Okay. So. I'm going to keep, I want to keep owner and group, same thing, but I want to give, remove all permissions from here. So let's uh, take a first block. Seven. What would be the number here? Here, seven. Okay, good. Six. Seven, then six, then uh, zero. No, the second one will be the five because we're keeping the way it is, right? So we are R, R is four. Uh, R and it's cute. Using... Ah, okay, okay. Okay, you're not using right. Yeah. And we, we're keeping the way it is. Yeah. So the number would be five. The last one you said nothing, which is you can't put zero, yeah? Yeah, you could put zero now. Okay. Any questions? See? From here till here. Nothing changed. And then here, last uh, last block, we changed it using number zero. Does it make sense? Yeah. Now this permission okay. is it's gonna be only for the file or also you can give permission on directory as well. Exactly. I'm coming to the directory. You're doing really good. You're doing really good.
Okay. So by default, I'm going to remove Chris. Okay, whatever we played around, it's all cleared up, right? Uh, we're gonna look at default. Okay, there is gonna be a huge difference how the directory permissions and then the file permissions are set. By default, the permissions are 644. Does it make sense? If I read this as 644, is it good, right? Yes. Okay. So remember this uh, last block I was saying uh, for permission for uh, files is not going to be anything. It's going to be blank because it's a file. For directory, it will give you the letter D. <coughs> you could see it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. on your screens. Yeah, just to to find like different between the directory and the yeah. file. So the owners have read, write, execute. But over here, uh, whoever created it couldn't execute it. In the when it comes to the directory, execution means simply going inside the directory means execution okay and then over here file doesn't have execution but the but the regular um, uh, group somebody in that group could go into execute mode so execute mode for the directory is nothing but simply going into it cd okay you could go in there. If there is a user there, which doesn't have like too many, uh, too many um, permissions, but a simple user could go in there and go into that folder. So you have to remember the default permissions for the folder is, let's take a look here. Can somebody help me? What is the very first permission? Seven. Okay, good. Next. Seven five. Good. Next. One. <clears throat> RX, RX. Now again, uh, five. Five. Exactly. Yeah, because read and. Uh... So the default default permission is for directories seven five five. And the folder is what? Six? Six, six four, four, four. Exactly, six, four, four. You remember this. This is gonna be an interview question. Default. A default. Um, Okay, and default uh, file permission is? 644. 644. Okay. And then you could use the ch mode to manipulate this. Most of the time, uh, most of the time, directory stays like this. As long as people did, as long as you restrict, uh, you know, if you, as long as you restrict this, uh, the read and write and execute access for files, it will be a safe bet that uh, the default permissions is there. But if you want, you could remove it. I want to, I want to remove like everything uh, for. Uh, 
for uh, group and others. So let's remove everything for groups and others. For directory. So see edge more. Okay. For owners, I'm not changing anything. So what should be the number? Everything you'll got like uh, seven. Okay, great. I'm removing uh, all access yes. for group and all access for others. Zero, zero. Yeah, you got it. For directory was sharp. What if I do this? What will happen now? You remove the execution from the directory. For who? The owner. Exactly. The... You got it, Bashar. You got it. Yeah. Chris, uh, Yahoo, you got it? Is it yes. making sense? Yes. Is Yahoo up to speed, Chris? Are you helping him? Uh, I'm coming along. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's been uh, practicing on his own. Um, I I had two assignments this week, so I I, I really have been uh, busy. I haven't been able to uh, get uh, get in contact with him. But you showed him the website and everything, right? All those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I sent him the link and he he knows what to download. So he got the he got the virtual box. Um and and I think he got the putty. You got putty installed, right? I have everything installed so I don't have uh putty configured yet, but I have VM box configured and set up, but okay, yeah. So yeah, we can go through that. Yeah, the very first or second uh, two videos are, um, you know where to get the videos, right? Yeah, can you tell me the name? I mean, I, I think I have it up. Hold on. Uh, is it 0087? Yeah, the one is uh, 0087 for putty connection, correct? Uh, I suppose, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I know. So you go to main website here. Huh? And then you go into blog. And this right. is where all the videos are. Right. If it's feeding from the YouTube. If you want to go look on the video YouTube, you could do that too. Okay. Got it. And then this one here. Yeah, this, this one is like I made it a long time ago. But okay. this one should have uh, all the information here. I, I would recommend you to go on your own and then uh, see if you could figure it out, then uh, ask yeah. for uh, Chris's help. Yeah, that's the one that I have up right now, but yep, thank you. Okay, sure. Okay, uh, let's see what I have so far. Okay, there is something called UMask. All these default permissions are coming from a place, uh, there is a service built in, it's called UMask. Okay. Okay, there is a default uh, default number set. Default number set in the system, which is which is making it give you the default numbers, uh, which is making it give it the default permissions. 
So let me go ahead and remove this first. So the CH mode, it's the, to give permission. Yeah, to give it physical permissions. Okay, th there is something, something uh, U mask is set here. It's a default number, it's called 0, 0, 0, 2, 2. Okay, 0, 0, 2, 2. When you type U mask, the number is 0022. Okay, let's take a, a look, deeper look here what UMask is doing. UMask is masking the permission. Okay, 0022. Two. So what is actually happening here? Okay, so let's make a direct uh, file. It's right. Hmm? It's writing. Uh, I'm sorry, say that again? I mean, because according to what you teach us before, two two mean right, yes? Yeah, zero to two is um, right. Yeah. Right position. Okay. So let's see here. Two. Uh, Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, yes. Okay. So what UMask is doing is for uh, files, This is this is how the UMask permission is uh, set. Okay. So read right. The right system. Down. Yeah. The system the system is actually set to give permission six six six. When when we're creating when we are creating a file name, Chris the system is automatically set to give the permission 666. But at the same time, system is also set for a UMask utility, is set to 222, uh, 0022. Okay, so why, why is it doing that? So what will happen if we 
if we remove 666 minus uh, right now don't worry about extra zero here that will come a little later but just worry about the default for files the default is 0 to 2 okay 0 to 2 so when you subtract 666 minus 0 to 2 what will happen what will be the value 644 do what you say 644 yeah exactly 666 minus 022 okay so what 022 do is doing is masking number 2 masking number 2 in here so by default everybody is getting 6 right if you add what is 6 read and write okay so by default it's it's giving you it's masking out of six is masking number uh, two uh, two two numbers so when it masks two numbers what is left four read all right read read six four four like this, system through. is giving the value value 666 and then in the instant all this is happening the moment you hit enter the system gives you the value 666 and then you mass reads it and takes away takes away 222 so it gives you the value of 644 so when we give the value ch mode 644 let me clear this all right when i'm going to give this value what what is going to change what permissions i'm changing right now You got it, Chris. Say it. Okay. It's going to be right, is... read, right, read, read, yes? Yeah. So what am I doing then? I, I didn't change anything. Because this is the value this is the value system is giving system is giving 666 but in a fraction of a second other another part of a system is taking the value 222 all right because by default it's set to you mask is set to 0222 there is x additional zero in here i will explain that later Okay, let's take a look here. Why system give not giving 666? Okay, so there is a command you could set the U mask. U M A S K. Let's set it to 000. How's that? Then you tap mask. All right, Bashar. Everything is in plain sight. When I create a file name Chris1, what is the permissions going to be? 666. Yeah, you got it. What do you see? Six, yeah, 666. Six, six. Six, six. Any questions? Okay. I understood from what you did now, like you changed the the masks uh, like before in the default way it used to be like uh, zero to two but now when you change it 
it became like six 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 because you put exactly this comma. exactly otherwise if you didn't put it it's gonna read it as a six four four aha uh -huh. you got correct. it correct because the system is set to zero to two by default mm -hmm. now okay. you what will happen if i make a directory it's not gonna read the like the group and others they will not gonna like write permission they just read they're not gonna go inside the folder uh, the file yes and go inside the folder okay the default uh, permission for the directory it was seven 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 five five seven five five yeah okay the default permission remember uh, seven 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 what is seven five five the owner is what read write execute owner is exactly aha uh -huh, you got it now by system is giving directories this permission and at the fraction of a second it's removing the permission at the same time so what is the total now uh, 755 yeah right. okay yeah let's go up here aha we discovered by default it's giving 755 in fact it's actually giving 777 but the built-in u mask is set to 022 did you get it hence yes. so if i create a directory let's check what is the u mask All right, I created the directory name Bashar. What is the what is the permissions gonna be? Seven five five. M A L five five. Do you see that? And it's kind of giving you a alert here. There is something wrong. When you go in there and when you're browsing through the directories and you see all of a sudden see something wrong, you better caution it, start looking into this. Okay? This is real, it looks really odd, right? Everything and anybody could go in there and do anything they want. Yeah. Okay, here's the trick. All right, this UMask is only good up until the system restarts okay i'm gonna restart i haven't done that ever since i started working long time ago but i'm testing it now so when i do this it goes back to the default what is the default here for umask uh, zero for directory Yeah, Chris, you understood the question. So, what 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 would be the default you mask? Zero two two. Yeah, it will go back to zero two two. So, I have a question about the. I'm really mask. glad Is you guys it... are understanding this. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, alhamdulillah, it's making sense. Um. But I have a question. So, the U mask is something that you have to set it. Or it's just something that is pre-programmed, and you don't have to you don't have to do it, um, you know, every for every single file or for every single uh, directory. Uh, by default, it's set to zero two two, but okay. you could change the UMass temporarily. If you're same creating what, like a couple hundred files, right? Same right. what you make, like you, you, change, it, gonna, you change it by UMask 000, yes? 
This is the way how you change it. Yeah. See, it came back to zero to two. I didn't do anything. Okay, let's do LS again. I'm going to take off everything. Okay, now I have a, I have to create about 10,000 files. And then uh, I want to give, uh, let's do, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm getting ready to create 10,000 files. And then I want to, I want to give full permissions here. And then, uh, and then full permissions here. So for file, let's write it down in a, write it down this year, usually to you mask. 747. You want to give, you want to give full permissions here, right? So what is this going to be? 747. Seven. And then uh, you want to leave the way this is. Yeah, you're right. Four. And then you want to leave seven. 747. Okay. So what should be the U mask we should set it to? Here's the clue. To arrive, to arrive the U mask, 644, we are zero. setting it to 030. Okay, 030. You have to put more zero. Is it zero three zero? Zero zero three zero because it has four uh, digit yes. The the you mask you said. Yeah, that's fine too. No, don't worry about it. Just worry about the three digits. Yeah, yeah zero three zero. It's it's from file or directory. Ah, if it's from directory. No, this uh, is file. Fi oh, this file. This is file. This is not directory. This is file. So, If it's so we different. want to, uh, for owners, we want to keep seven, so zero. For, for uh, um, no, actually, it won't, it won't do it by default here. You have to take it out of 666. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We are, for the files, you cannot do it directly here. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah. You cannot do read, read, write, execute, and read, write, execute with single command. You have to actually manually change it. So for, it's going to give the default 666 if it's all these are 000. But what we want to do is we want to give read, write here, leave this alone, and then read, write here. So 6. We want to give the permission 646. Six. So what will be the U mask? Zero, 020. Zero. Zero, two, zero. You got it. Let's see here. Give the number 020. Zero, zero. Okay. Then you do you just type U mask. It's set to 020. Zero, zero. Then you do touch press one. Six, four, six. My question here, the system by default will always take six, four, four for the, for like file and seven, five, five, for uh, 
not yes. six six or seven seven seven. If they ask us question, we have to tell them six four four and seven five five. Unless yeah, yeah, it's a built-in built-in security feature for the system that is going to question you why you need this all this. Okay. I think we covered uh, almost everything uh, with the UMass here. I really highly recommend you to play around with this. Now, why would why would anybody would do it? So, if somebody want to create like ten files here, touch C one, C two, C three, C four, C five, and all right. And then let's do ls hyphen l. And uh, this is what what you want the permissions to be. Six four six. You set the default to. You have to subtract it from. Uh, six six six. The simple math here is to get zero to zero is for files minus six 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 minus whatever the permissions you want to set six four six equal to zero two zero but if you do the math i'm not sure if if you do it in the calculator it will come up six 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 minus uh six four six oh maybe it does and then uh for the directories um the permission is going to be 777 minus 020. So it's going to be 757. Let's take a look here. When the UMask is set to 020, the permissions will be 757. Okay, 7. Five seven. Any questions? Is it fun today? It was a fun class today, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. All right, I'm going to do the binary. hard stop right now. It's, huh? it's easier than, it, I said it's easier than, than learning uh, binary and how to, uh, how to set uh, the octets in, in hexadecimal and, and, uh, and uh, uh, don't, 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 don't just, don't just celebrate yet. We have, I have those things coming up. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Da, da, da. I'm, I'm going to keep it short, that lecture only for IP address. I'm going to give it to you like 192.168.0.1 is not actually 192. 192 is actually not 192. 168 is not 168. 0 is not 0. And 1 is not 1. This this I will cover like halfway through the lecture, maybe like uh, another 10 weeks from now. Okay. Okay, but um, what, right, I'm gonna... what I was I was saying is that you're uh, we're not actually uh, we don't have to have to do subnetting and stuff like that, right? Uh, no, no. Yeah. Okay. There'll be. I mean. Uh, you know, the jobs you will be lining up in uh, is like, you know, you may have uh, all the good access to it, but uh, you won't have like a network level access because there's like, if you heard about ITIL, uh, you yes. heard about ITIL, right? Most of mm -hmm. the IT companies comply with that. Yes. So that uh, once they comply with uh, the volume or whatever they're following, uh, those are checks and balance that who who have, who would have access to what and uh, there is an audit going around all the time. One time I have like two IDs because I've been uh, in one place for so long and I ended up having like 
one ID for two two are uh, two IDs for two different domains, and I had it for like a a while now, at least five years, before they finally re realized, you know, I shouldn't be having those. But if you didn't get it, it would be it would be in the system who actually gave you and all that change request and all that, so you don't have to worry about all those. All right, I highly recommend everybody to be on time, please. We'll start right on, and then we don't have to uh, you know wait for anybody. We actually wasted 20 minutes. Yeah, sorry about that. I was unable to log in. All right, no problem. But uh, Yahoo, if you have any questions, uh, I'll get your number from uh, Chris, and uh, okay. I'll put you on the WhatsApp group. Uh, inshallah. Yeah, but he doesn't have WhatsApp. That's okay. the problem. Yeah, I got I got to clear some storage on my phone. My phone is basically dead with storage. But yeah, inshallah, I'll try to install it. Yeah, install it because uh, the, we have a like, group, everybody in there, and then. Uh, all the updates and everything I put it in there. Yeah, sounds good. Is all right, everybody, I'm going to stop now and then we'll uh, come back. So tomorrow, 10 o'clock central. Yeah. Is that what good. it is, right? 10 o'clock central? That's what it is. Yes, that's right. Okay, so Bashar is going to be 8 o'clock your time. Tomorrow, yeah. Okay, all right. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.